Happy New Year and welcome to the January 2019 edition of 71 Magazine. I'm your host, John Bryanton. You know, it's this time of the year that many of us make resolutions for the new year. If this is the case, maybe your resolution was to simplify your life a little bit, or maybe even manage your money better. Well, if that's the case, then you'll want to stay tuned because Sonia Dixon with OMU is going to be here and really show you how you can do that with your OMU utility bill. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, thanks for sticking around and help me welcome Sonia Dixon uh, from OMU, who is the communications and public relations manager for them. Sonia, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. And listen, before we get started, mm -hmm. uh, did you make any New Year's resolutions? I did. Just a few. The same okay. ones everybody makes, though, right? <laughs> right. Um, you know, I'm going to save more money. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to call my family more. Yeah. I'm going to do all of those things. Well, I think I did mm -hmm. the same thing. I, mm -hmm. I you know, I'm, I'm trying to watch what I eat a little bit better mm -hmm. and so forth and you know but I always keep hearing people say mm -hmm. you know that the majority of, of New Year's resolutions mm -hmm. are not kept so keep the expectations low right so that's what I right. try to do me too <laughs> me too me too okay so listen I told viewers before we got started mm -hmm. here that you can help them manage their money a little bit better when it comes to their OMU utilities well you know um, why not save on the things that you're you're going to use and that you're going you know that you're a bill that you pay regularly That's right. um, so you know we talk about tips on saving money all year long mm -hmm. about winterizing your home or preparing for summer and those kind of things so those still hold true right. so you know still think about weather stripping and and start looking at those windows if you need to replace them and those kinds of things mm -hmm. but another thing to to better help you manage your money is to is to kind of budget it mm -hmm. and how you're going to pay bills and so we have a lot of payment options that help you do that and, and we've talked a little bit in the past about levelized and budget billing, mm -hmm. and those are both options that help you know basically what you're going to pay every month for a year or 11 months, depending on which one you choose. Okay. And it helps you know, so you know this is going to be exactly what I'm paying to OMU on X date. So you can help plan all of your all of your money that month. Okay. Well, explain mm -hmm. to me and explain to our viewers just exactly how does budget billing work? What we do is we take an average of your previous year's billing, okay. um, and then we, we set an average for you for the year. Um, and then what happens is you, you pay that for the year. At the end of the year, we look at your usage, and if you've used more or less than that, then we, we true up and begin a new balance for the following year. Oh, okay. So in other words, mm -hmm. at the end of that year, let's mm -hmm. say I trended a little higher. Mm -hmm. So then you would take that year, last year, and mm -hmm. then you would budgetize that. Exactly. Out so to the next year. right. So there's not a true up at the end where you're writing a single amount. Okay. Okay. What you're doing is it just rolls into the next year. So, if, but if you've made some efficiency efforts right. and you've done some things like that, then it, it may decrease for the following so year. So, is levelizing the same thing? It's very similar. It's a it's 11 month rotation. Oh. So you do have a little bit of a a little bit of a change in it. Um, periodically, um, but what's great is that when you talk to our customer service staff, they can run those numbers for you and tell you what would work best. Okay, well now the second part was is how can we help our customers uh, simplify their life? Well, you know, we just talked about budget billing. Mm -hmm. That certainly makes it simple. You know, they're looking at payment options that work best for you, and the one that works best for me is saying every month I want it paid from my checking account. Okay. And I'm gonna, and I wanna pick the date. So I know on X day, I'm on, you know, December um, 18th, January 18th, you know, so forth and so forth, mm -hmm. that it's going to be paid on that date. Now, you can do that with your checking account. You can also do that with your credit card. Okay. Um, so, But you know that that is automatically going to be paid. It's going to be taken care of. You still receive your bill. You don't have to worry about uh, taking care of that. And it also helps you with that budgeting part as well. Um, you know, a couple of other things is setting up your account online. Um, you're still going to receive a bill, but let's say you want to get in there and look at the past bills mm -hmm. you're looking at. Or, you're, you know, a lot of people, when they're selling their home, want to be able to tell the 
potential buyer, hey, these are my average bills and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Or you want to just track your usage. You're, mm -hmm. you're looking at saving money. You know, right now you're writing your bill down every month or you're, you're graphing it on your own. You're right. keeping an Excel spreadsheet. All of that is available online on our customer portal. You know, I didn't know that, Sonia, because mm -hmm. I've been doing that for years and years and years. Well, we're just going to save you a lot of time and hopefully <laughs> some money now. Listen, I think mm -hmm. I just simplified my life. Actually. Right, great. You know, what's even nicer about that is you can put a marker on that graph, on your usage graph, that says, on this date, I got a new heating and air unit, or on this date, I um, installed um, a tankless water heater, whatever, you know, how, whatever you've done or you've put new windows in. And then you can track your usage from that date and say, oh, wow, it made this difference or... Um, it had more of an impact, less of an impact, and you can kind of see where, if you're getting your money back. Okay, so I think in order, you know, to, to get mm -hmm. on those, of course, people need to get mm -hmm. on a computer, but they, I believe that they can sign up for an online portal of some sort, maybe oh, on their phone. Even. The portal you can actually do on your phone. You can do it um, just by visiting our website, or you can download our app, which okay. is really great because you can access it through that. Um, or you can call in if you need somebody to walk you through that. Um, but if you want to sign up for any of um, the, the payment programs, the budget billing, those sorts of things, I think you need to call in. Mm -hmm. um, but Signing up for the portal is easy. All you're going to need is your account number, um, your name, your address, and then um, set up a password, just like you would for anything else. And once you're set up, you're good to go. Now, included in that, if I sign up for mm -hmm. the portal, am I going to get text alerts and so forth for like outages and? Um, no, you'll need to sign up separately for okay. that. Um, but you can do that on the website as well. So while you're right. there, you can you can sign up for that. Um, but the portal is very easy. And then you know, and if you get into the portal and you have some questions, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I don't remember how to get to this. Our customer service staff can help you as well. But imagine having all of that information at your fingertips and yep. not having to go back through bills or not having to try to look that up. Or if you own multiple properties, Mm -hmm. You can go through and actually pay each of those bills through the portal separately, or you can pay them all together, or you can manage them in that way instead of having all these separate pieces of paper that you're that you're moving about and checks that you're writing and, and all of that sort of thing. Okay, so listen, and, and also helping uh, mm -hmm. folks simplify their lives, I think mm -hmm. you can, you know, be, by being able to do that on your phone, it's almost like taking care of your finances to go. You know, it, it's it's so I can actually pay my bill mm -hmm. through my telephone. You can, you can, you can. Um, the app is amazing. A lot of apps have limited capabilities. Right. You only get a few things that you would on the website. Right. Our um, our app has all of it. Anything that you can do on the website, you can do on our app. You can manage your bill. You can check your bill. You can um, look at past usage. You can do any of that. And you know, I always think that that's a great tool for you. For mm -hmm. instance, you're waiting in the doctor's office, or you're getting your oil changed, right. <laughs> or you know, you just have a few minutes here and there, or you're during your lunch hour. You want to sit and take mm -hmm. care. Of that how handy to have it right there and then you add the texting option that we just mentioned right. earlier about outages so you think oh there, there was a storm or there was something go through I wonder you don't have to get online and look at that you're gonna automatically get updates yeah see that's what's fantastic mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I have that and I do you know t I get notice of an outage I may be mm -hmm. here at work mm -hmm. and then find out that there's an outage in my area exactly you know and but yet mm -hmm. I'm getting that it's not just an it's not just notification that there is an outage mm -hmm. but then you also come back and say listen everyone has now been restored mm -hmm. you know as of this time mm -hmm. uh, I know it was very very critical and mm -hmm. you can share this with uh, with the water main break that we had it's certainly and and you know um, that that's such critical information yes. you know we, we've talked a lot about the importance of knowing when the boil water orders mm -hmm. are lifted and how the repairs are going um, we used our texting service quite a bit for that and I think it really helped people. They didn't have to keep going, you know, online and trying to find information or calling in. We were doing regular updates, and I, I feel that that was that was helpful for me. I always felt that I knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. I knew what areas. And then also, what was great is that you could take, you know, lots of times there was a link in that text that said, "Hey, you can go look at this map," and this map will tell you what's yes. going on with this. Yes. So, um, you know, it's it's information at your fingertips. Well, let's just say that um, maybe I'm at a point to where I don't use a computer a lot, mm -hmm. but maybe I would like to simplify paying my bill. Mm -hmm. Can I just call customer service? I certainly do. Okay. Um, talk to them about our billing options. Okay. There are a number of those. Um, and, and, and we try to have options that suit you if you're, if for instance, um, let's say that you like to pay your bills at night. You have mm -hmm. shift work and you want to be able to pay at midnight. You can call in and use our pay by phone system. Oh. You can pay on our portal. You can do those sorts of things. But it, but if you're the type of person, that, you know, I've been paying by check and I'm good with that. Right. We, we certainly take that as right. well. Um, but I want to know how to simplify that or I'd like to talk to you about budget billing. 
270-926-3200. They can tell you which option is best. They can handle signing you up right there. They can take care of those things. So, you know, the computer and, and your phones are a wonderful thing and they're great, but, you know, there, there's nothing that will ever replace that, that um, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation because we all have different needs right. and, you know, and we all have different usage and our homes are different and that sort of thing. So call one of our customer service reps. They, they are fantastic. Yeah. They're patient. They know what they're doing. They have all of your account information right there and they are certainly glad to help. And listen, if people want to, they can walk mm -hmm. right into the customer service center there on Tamarack Road and listen, mm -hmm. I've done that several times mm -hmm. and the people there are just very delightful. They're very nice to t chat with and so forth. You know, they are. They're so knowledgeable they are. and um, we are open from 8 to 5 every day on Tamarack Road. Um, we have a drive through That's that's certainly very mm -hmm. handy. You know, I always think about a lot of people that are coming. They've got their kids in the car yeah. or or they, you know, got their family or they're running errands and it's so nice for them to still be able to run through the drive through Okay, well listen, mm -hmm. before we close, mm -hmm. I want you to share with uh, our mm -hmm. viewers the Customer Cares Program. And mm -hmm. because I think it's important that people understand this isn't just for the holidays. No, you know, we, we talk about the Customer Cares Program sometimes around the holidays because mm -hmm. we're all thinking about that. We're, right. we're counting our blessings and we're thinking about those who, who perhaps aren't in the same situation as we are. Our Community Cares Program um, couples two things. Um, OMU makes an annual donation to the Salvation Army and then they disperse those funds, all of those funds, to customers, OMU customers mm -hmm. that are struggling with um, paying their bill. And, you know, all of us have been at those those points in our lives when we've needed some assistance, and that's what this does. But, you know, there are a lot of people that are like, hey, I want to help with that, too. And how better to help someone with a basic need, right. which is, you know, your electricity and your water. Um, and so you can round up on your bill. So in addition to those funds, there are no, we don't take any administration costs out, nor does the Salvation Army. So it's 100% um, going, going to the members of your community. Mm -hmm. But you can round that bill up. Let's say every month you're like, I just want to round up to the nearest dollar. I want to add five dollars or just one time I want to I want to donate five dollars there's a way to do that when you pay on the portal there's a way to do that when you pay your bill by paper if you'd like mm -hmm. um, it just gives you a chance to give back um, and I, you know, it's it's a it's such a basic need, and and um, you know what's wonderful is the Salvation Army does a great job of vetting yes. for us and handling that and making sure this is going to those that most need it. Right. Um, you know, it's just and you can make a one like I said a one time donation. Mm -hmm. You know, another thing that kind of want to throw out there, you can always, um, you know, um, if you want to be a surprise Santa and right. you don't want it, you want it to go to a specific person, there are gift certificates available as well. I've seen some people do that and kind of leave them in people's mailboxes and do some things like that. But certainly the Community Cares Program, it's an easy way. Talk about simplifying. You're yes. looking at a way. A lot of us are thinking about how can we give back in the new year? What can we do for others? What a simple way. While I'm paying my bill, I'm going to add a little bit and help someone else out. Well, that's great. Well, listen, Sonia, thanks Thank for you. joining me today. Thank you. And uh, again, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do this again next Good. month. Good. Listen, thanks for tuning in. And if you need additional information, you can always call OMU at 926-3200 or you can go to omu.org. Thanks for joining us, and uh, listen, we'd like to wish all of you a wonderful new year in 2019 from uh, OCTV and OMU. We'll see you right back here next month.